Hello everyone and welcome back to Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure. Last time we finally escaped the temple with Detective Katype and now we're back in with our main protagonist and Kide to explore Fishmouth. So let's hit the continue button and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so I'm sure we've got yeah, a lot of stuff. Let's start checking it out. It's the door to the tourist info place. But they're closed. She doesn't come with the lockpick feature. I think it's locked. Door sign? We're closed. Kitty can't read. Yet. Uh, it's fine where it's at. Sign above door. It says, uh, Fishmouth Tourist Board, Tourist Information. Kitty can't read. Yet. Yet. Okay. So a lot it's of this fine where it's at. kind of repetitive. Let's uh, go over here where Kitty is. What's this? Green, Green light shining through this particular door's window. She doesn't come with the lockpick feature. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Excuse me. Away. Oh, but you see, I'm just interested in local culture and... Go away. Okay. I mean, it's kind of got what you asked for looking through that window, All right? the old buildings <clears throat> receding into darkness. And everything smells horribly of fish and fish things. Fish Ugh. and fish things. I don't think she has an opinion. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Let's go over here. Girl and her dog. It's a kid and her dog staring down at the water. I'm afraid talking to little kids is on you while we're on this quest. Okay. So let's go talk. Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie. Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, Annie and Tadpole. Okay, so what you up to? So what you up to? Just waiting for my cousin. She was supposed to show up a half an hour ago. It's not like her to be this late. Sounds like a quest. What's your cousin's <clears throat> name? Excuse me. Priscilla. Whoa, really? You, you know her? Maybe. Well, uh... Hope she shows up real soon. Yeah, me too. I hope everything's all right. What are you drinking there, Annie? Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you, very nutritious. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Dolphin's milk. Is uh, everything okay with <clears throat> Dad? Excuse what do you me? mean? Well, his eyes are... Uh... Wide apart. Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. Hey, Annie, think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Ah, oh, poor Tad. Hmm. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. Uh, probably he prefers just a sandwich. But he'll have to settle for milk because it's all I've got. Got it. Okay, apparently we're looking for a sandwich. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. Let's check out this purple door. There is an intense purple light shining through the window in this <clears> door. <throat> Excuse me. She doesn't come with the lockpick feature. And... Hello? Go away. But maybe I have a very important message to deliver. Go away. <sighs> okay, apparently not. Uh... A couple of Fishmuthians. Looks like they're guarding that archway there. I'm happily surrendering the pleasure of talking to that couple to you. Hey, folks. <clears throat> Mind if me. I squeeze through? We don't mind or nothing, stranger. We just strongly discourage it. Strongly discourage it? Uh, okay, I can respect that. So, can you 
Let me through anyway? We ain't shopping you. We just strongly discouraging you. Well, it's easy, really. Each one of you just has to take one step, no, half a step in the opposite direction, and we're all happy. We ain't stopping you, stranger. But we ain't moving either. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Buzz Kerwin, and I'm a tourist here in this beautiful seaside town of yours. Martha. Martha Webfoot. Liz here's my husband, Silas. We's the Fish Month Citizens Brigade. Proud volunteers. Just watching over things, making sure the festival gonna go smooth. That's our job now. Festival. The festival? That mm. ain't got nothing to do with you or your kind. Yeah, that's why we strongly discouraging you from entering Fishmouth. But I'm a participant. Really? Judging by your accent, I would have said Eastern Orthodox. No, I mean I'm part of the festival. Then you're either a pilgrim or you're one of them entertainers. Pilgrim you ain't because you ain't got the garb. And you sure don't smell like one. So that'll make you an entertainer. Let's see that entertainer license. Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't ready. They said just going Excuse without me. it. Who said that? The, um, the, 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 the committee. No license, no entry. Hmm. Is there Let's anything see. I can do to convince you to let me hunch. through? Boy, you've really given up on trying anything creative like, ain't you? We ain't letting you in without a license. Now, nah, Silas, don't be talking nonsense. We ain't stopping anyone here. Oh, uh, that's right, Martha. Oh, he's just... Strongly discouraging. Gotcha. Okay. I'll be back. We'll be here. If we talk to this thug. It's a thuggish looking big guy smoking a horribly stinky cigarette. I don't think we can take him, Buzz. <clears throat> Let's see if we can talk to Hello him. Hello there, now. sir. Buzz off. Actually, funny thing about <clears throat> that. I mean it, out of towner. Uh, okay. Alrighty. Oh, hey. I went to move my cursor over to the left to walk away. <laughs> Just said I can go in now. Apparently they were only closed for the moment, I guess. I don't know. A cornucopia of... You should not be using words you don't know the meaning of. <sighs> A lot of creepy paintings, mostly fishing related. Not her type of art. Not my type of art. Some kind of fishmouth themed fridge magnets. Kitty cares nothing for fridge decorations. I can't just swipe one. I better talk to the clerk. Interactive guide on floppy disk. There's something you don't see every day. She can't read floppy disks. She can't read, period. That's what you think. I can't just swipe one. I better talk to the clerk. I went to Fishmouth and all I got was out of there real fast. I'm several sizes smaller. Cute. I can't just swipe one. I better talk to the clerk. They all say Fishmouth. Ew. I'm not your personal miniature thief, Buzz. <laughs> miniature. Cute. It's a multi-tool looking thing. They've always intimidated me. I'm gonna guess that any time you click on the, the gear icon, it's just like, I'm not gonna swipe I'm one. not your personal miniature thief, Buzz. Miniature. Cute. Uh, liquor bottle. We'll go to the liquor bottle first. And then we'll talk to the clerk. We always do the side stuff first. It's a bottle of really fancy liquor. Nah, I don't need her assistance. Well, I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing that label on the bottle, right? 
Exotic liquor. It's the clerk in charge of this tourist info point. I'll leave you the pleasure of talking to him. Hello. Good evening, sir, and welcome to our info point. My name's William LQPW Watersworth, and I'm an official representative of the Fishmouth Tourist Board. What can I do for you today, sir? The board. Uh, okay. Nice evening we're having, huh? Nice is not a notion commonly associated with Fishmouth. While the evening, per se, with its undeniable charm and pleasant temperature, would qualify as nice, we are in Fishmouth. Therefore, I submit that it's a horrendous evening. Okay. Wow. Okay, uh... I'm here to visit Fishmouth for a while. If I may say so, sir. That is a horrible idea. Yeah, I thought I'd... Wh what Did you just say horrible idea? Why, of course. Fishmouth is a run-down, rotting, almost abandoned mockery of a town. Nothing to visit, the people are anything but hospitable, and we're really not accepting of strangers during this particular time of year. I thought you represented the Fishmouth Tourist Board. I do. You're a tourist, correct? Am I not informing you, sir? I do not see how this is confusing. Hmm. You said you're not accepting of strangers this particular time of year. Are you more accepting at other times? No, not really. No. Okay. Is it me, or are you going out of your way to drive people away from Fishmouth? Oh, we only have the tourist's best interest at heart. The best thing a tourist can do in Fishmouth is not be one. Be one what? A tourist in Fishmouth. Why do you not want me in Fishmouth? Oh, sir. You might have misunderstood. It's not that we don't want you in Fishmouth. We don't really want anyone here. Ever. Is that an economically sound attitude you guys are having as a community? It is the will of the majority, sir. Which part of Fishmouth do you think is the absolute most this guy has to a visitor? That's got to be this plaza here we're situated in for sure. Really? What about the rest of the town? <laughs> he's oh, just got just as horrible. <laughs> the no, lowest opinion of even this more town horrible. ever, but at least he's honest, Thanks right? Thanks for clearing that up. Um... Say, uh, you've got these, uh, welcoming gifts here? Preference, rather. Going away gifts. Which we do encourage we do at your earliest convenience. Yeah, what's an offer? You may choose between five options, sir. A jolly good fridge magnet with the inscription, Fishmouth, not even once. A leather T-shaped shirt that says, uh, I went to Fishmouth and all I got was out of there real fast. Horrible grammar, I know. A coffee mug reading, Fishmouth. Yeah. A Fishmouth tourist attractions interactive guide on floppy disk. There's really nothing to see, so no point in wasting DVDs on it. And finally, my far the most popular choice, the Fishmouth Multi-Tool. Opens anything, provides hints, helps solve puzzles, coerces people to reveal passwords, requires ceremony, shaving of head, stripping down to underwear, slight change of religion, a six month long vow of silence, and a little blood sacrifice. Very useful tool, which, which one of the five shall it be, sir? Uh... I, uh, I can't decide yet. Very well, sir. Do return upon having chosen wisely. That's a promise. <laughs> um... Mr. Watersworth, yeah, I will go. come clean. I am one of the entertainers. What is this you speak of, sir? I don't understand. The festival, Mr. Watersworth? Is this where I pick up my official entertainer license? You are very, very, very early, Mr... Yes, uh, I wanted to get a feel of the place before my performance. It's a habit of mine. Don't worry, I've arranged for my stay in advance. Very well, sir. What type of entertainment should I look under? Play the lute, disperse an audience in less than 30 seconds. A renowned magician... Ooh, I have this talking cat. Here we go. Let's go with that. I one. have this talking cat. 
All right, let me see here. <clears throat> Mr. Tornston and Excuse his me. horrible singing <clears throat> beast, is it? Sure is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, what do you know? It does speak. Oh, do make it sing, Mr. Tornston. It's time to stop being so modest, Kid A. The public Kid wants a. you. Oh my gosh, he's forced. Uh, besides, I think Mr. Watersworth <clears throat> needs to be convinced of your singing abilities, lest he just uh, give some imposters our license. Quite right, Mr. Tornston. We will talk about this, Mr. Tornston. Wait, what? What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? What would Kid A is not a good singer, but it's funny to watch. That was something, indeed. Memorable, huh? To say the least, sir. Here's your license, Mr. Tornston. Enjoy wow. your stay, and... I know, I know. Keep out of everybody's business. Have a great evening, Mr. Watersworth. Doubtful. Goodbye. <laughs> At least we got the license, and we got to hear Kid A sing. Okay. So now that we have our license, we can go through here, right? Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot, <clears throat> here's my entertainer's Excuse license. Me. Huh. I'll be darned. Horrible singing pet, huh? Hey, didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Uh, Tornston is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Tornston. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep yourself, and don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. Okay, what is that? Nothing else has really changed. Oh, let's just go. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. Okay, so... Oh, this guy's eating a sandwich. Didn't, uh... What's her name? She needed a sandwich, right? So... It's a Fishmouth citizen enjoying his sandwich. She has nothing to say. Good evening, <coughs> sir. Excuse evening, me. stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong, I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the Mechanic. No, I mean my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. <sighs> the Mechanic? Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from around Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsport the Plumbers. They <laughs> hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. Excuse me. Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts too. Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Okay. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. Them... Poor, poor, striped horses. Uh... Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us humans? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah. In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah. I swore off zebra meat forever. Never felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. 
<laughs> okay. So, are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing, eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. <clears throat> what can you tell me about Fishman? Well, okay. I don't know how you made it in, it's just tuna. but the sooner your non-local <laughs> eyes is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order. The order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> okay, so... Gotcha okay. later, Milton. No. You probably will. My truck's dead. So... Got a sandwich. Maybe we can trade him a sandwich for. Do you think he wants a can of Dr. Fisher? Or the cookie? Uh, let's go with this one first. Here you go. Good evening, sir. Can I interest you in this refreshing can of Dr. Fisher? Why, well, sure you can, out of towner. Dr. Fisher's trademark. My favorite soda. <laughs> this gonna go down real good once I'm done with my sandwich. Wait. Much appreciated, out of towner. Consider I owe you one. I'll remember that. Wait. There we go. Now we. Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Good, 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 now good. that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? I, uh, would like to have it. Well, you did give me that refreshing can of Dr. Fisher. Trademark. All Trademark. right, brother. You can <laughs> have it. Oh, cool. Here you go. Enjoy. Sweet. Sandwich. Let's go back. Can we go back? How do we go back? Where's the back thing? Here we go. Wait. Wait. What? What? Oh. I'm Got you later, still Milton. in a conversation. You probably will. <laughs> My truck's dead. Let's see if we can go back and uh, give this sandwich over to the girl. Because we know we're going to need that milk somehow. If they have an object, you're going to need that object. Hey, kid. Want this sandwich? I don't. But my doggy Woggy Tad sure would love it. Sandwiches are his favorite. Thanks. Wait. Hey, Annie. Think you could spare okay. some of that dolphin milk? Sure. I was going to share it with Tad, but that sandwich sure will fill his widow belly up good. <laughs> Here you go. Sweet. Thanks, Annie. You're a good kid. Not sure if I did that all in the right order, but we still managed to get it. So, can't complain, right? Okay, so who's this guy? Citizen with a newspaper? A Fishmuthian citizen really intent on reading that newspaper. I don't want to involve her. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah. Okay. Oil puddle. It puddles. It's what it does. Nah, she's a neat freak. Can't think of any use for it. Something tells me I could probably live stream this and make it go faster. It has reached its final destination. She could care less about it. It's not taking me anywhere. Fishmith Buildings. <clears throat> Excuse me. As crumbling and decayed as Darkham, maybe a bit more. I might it's more be a poor <laughs> student slash librarian, but she has some living standards. You couldn't pay me enough to live there. There's a gate, right? There's a light coming from somewhere down there, but the gate's positively locked. She doesn't come with the lockpick feature. 
I don't really have a reason to, plus it's locked. Okay, the window. It's the only other thing before going into the hotel, I guess. Oh, well, and the hotel sign. One solitary lit window. I wonder who's in there. I wouldn't have her climb that high. Can't reach it. Gotta enter the hotel first. Alright, let's look at the Finman House sign. Well, we found Finman House, alright. Charming place. I don't like this place one bit. It reeks of dead... Fish? Not just fish. Oh. I don't like this place one bit. It reeks of dead... Fish? Not just fish. Oh, idle oh. citizen. We can talk to him as well. I think. She looks really, um, not happy. Oof. She's just as mean as you are, cat. Uh, police. Hi there. You staying at the Finmans tonight? I... I might be. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a trash can over there, too. A great example of the Urban Decay School of Design. Oh, I'm a cat, so I'm into smelly trash cans. Is that what this is? I didn't say anything. Urgh. Fascinating wonders might await deep in its smelly confines, but I won't be the one to discover them. Okay, so let's head into the Finman house. There's plenty of stuff to do in there. Let's go from right to left. It seems like it's always 10 o'clock in this hotel. She doesn't care for it. I don't think this one opens. Complimentary coffee. Black as midnight on a moonless night. How thoughtful of Mr. Finman. I don't think we want to find out what that would do. Nothing to pour it in. Wait, don't I have... No, that was, um... That was the detective who had Looks the Looks like he's the strong, silent type. I am completely uninterested. Hello! Okay, then. He was right. Silent type. Those are the room keys, and they're all present but one. She's not interested. The one key I'm interested in is the one that's missing. The one... Okay. My bad. Let's go to the, uh, Finman. That there must be the namesake of this hotel. No, I have to handle this. Uh, hello there. <clears throat> Bob Olmstein. <sighs> what did you just say? Oh, uh, God, my spleen? You should have that checked out, stranger. Your spleen plays multiple important roles in your body. It's a filter for blood and part of your immune system. It also helps fight bacteria, especially the kind that causes pneumonia and meningitis. So I've heard. Oh. Okay, thanks for the info. Well, Mr. Finman is oh, very well informed. Oh, supposed to taste real yummy. I, I don't mean the human kind, of course. I, I wouldn't know about that. <clears throat> very uh, interesting. What a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it? Evening? Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Mm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. Uh, you know, the salty sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder. Charming. <coughs> Mr. Finman, I presume. That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishmouth. There anything I can do for you, stranger? I'd like a room, please. I'd love to help you out, sir. 
We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Booked the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. Why you come here? You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <clears throat> yeah, and I've been known to judge a man. <laughs> he was nosy and skinny. Too skinny. Too skinny. I try to eat right, Mr. Finman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Sorry. M must be this uh, hunger I guts up in me. What is so funny about that? Oh, nothing. Fish with humor. You ain't got the stomach for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Sheesh. So about that room. We's all booked. See that pilgrim standing over there? Him and his kind dumb. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love oh, I thought it was to gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Oh, think nothing of it, stranger. It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. Makes me say all kind of things. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish... <laughs> Fishmouth folk. It's Fishmouth business. We got our own to look up to. Don't need your funny smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The order don't take kindly to strangers. The order? Oh. The order? <laughs> what order? Nah, never you mind that. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here, might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. That's all I can tell you. Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a, I'm a meat man myself, but right now I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I gots to wash it down some, and I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean like alcohol, right? You was pretty smart for a stranger. Hmm. All meat, huh? Got any preferences, or anything goes? Oh, I got my preferences. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? What'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here. Till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them, them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Are the Pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, 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 you could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> I'm not telling you they're gonna be eating people. I don't know about y'all, but it's That's super subtle, exceptionally right? exceptionally jovial innkeep. Anyway... Has, uh, has the guy in the room brought you any meat? Butcher, fancy yourself some kind of detective or something outsider? What's with all them questions now? I'm just curious by nature. Too curious, you ask me. No place for your kind here, outsider. Just wondering how come your one customer hasn't provided you with any meat, that's all. He's a stranger in that one. He ain't nothing like our usual customers. Pays damn well, too. Gold, stranger, gold. We is locks our gold up in here. Hmm. 
So gold is popular around here, huh? Used to be... You asking way too many questions, Skinny. I'm here to see this gentleman. He ain't come down in a while. I don't reckon he will anytime soon. I wouldn't wait if I were you, stranger. You know, getting constantly called a stranger and an outsider tends to be a little grating after a while. Have you considered that? We don't take... Kindly, gotcha. Ah. Well, I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> okay. So we know that we're gonna have to get him a drink or an alcohol, but one thing we do have... Actually, let's see if that'll work. Exotic label... Nah, no need to claim it's not milk. Hmm. Okay. We'll figure that out next time, then. Uh, this video has gone on a little past 30 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and save and call it here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.